Hey, what's up YouTube? Dark Miss Education here, and today I've got a tutorial about look making stuff look, animations look cool. So, I'm just going to open After Effects. got my new computer so it opens pretty quickly. I have it on my solid state drive, so I do recommend getting one of those if you are s you're serious about editing because it makes everything a lot smoother. Okay, so let's just go ahead and create a new composition. We'll make it normal size and let's call it tutorial background color we'll make it white yeah okay so first of all if you don't know this you can just create a basic background looks kind of nice create a solid call it PG okay so what you're gonna be learning today or what I'm gonna be teaching you today is how to make animations look realistic but nice at the same time so you gotta get that sort of balance and I've sort of learned from just doing animation, uh, um, how to do this. Okay, so just let's just get a gradient. Okay, here we go. Ramp. Can't remember what it's called yet. So you can set it to a radial ramp, or if you want, keep it. You probably know what I'm doing by now. Okay, so set this one to uh, black, and this one to white, and then you can just uh, increase the end of ramp like that so and if you want make this a little lighter like that okay so there we go we have a we have a, a decent background um, looks okay that doesn't need to be anything too special all right so what you want to do is uh you can you can choose whatever you want I'm gonna do it with some text so I'm just gonna change it Font. Doesn't matter what font you use, I guess. Okay, get nil and black. This is a font that I downloaded from the internet, from a website that I will have in the description. Okay, animation. Then we'll create a new box. Is that? Cool. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is a technique called typography. Or, well, no, it's not a technique, it's a, a thing. Okay, so let's just scale this up and make it all look nice. And basically, what you're trying to do is kind of create almost a shape out of the text. Um, and that'll look quite good. Try to get a. Uh... So I'm just going to try and create a cube out of the text. And then I'm going to animate it. So what I'm trying to do is create an animation that's sort of, um, say if you're running, you're not going to stop instantly, are you? You're not just going to stop straight away. You're going to slow down, you're going to stop, going to go a little bit past your destination maybe, and then you're just going to come back. And so that's sort of what we're doing. All right. So get your uh, animation thing here, this one. Let's put this on top. And what I'm going to do is animate the scale. So let's start at zero and make it go. Oh, opened up Photoshop. And then we're going to go all the way to 15 frames. I'm doing this in 30 frames per second, by the way. Okay, so 100%. Ah, we have encountered a problem. And you're likely to encounter this as well. Um, when you scale things up, obviously it scales from an anchor point, it can't scale from somewhere random. So we're going to put this right here so it scales evenly. Or if you want, you can put it anywhere really. Okay, so let's put this to zero and just animate it coming out like this. I do recommend putting motion blow on after you're done. So now we've got that, that doesn't look right. Not really, anyway. So what we're going to do is go a couple frames into future. No, no. Let's, instead of doing that, you can do it two ways, but I'm going to do it this way. Make this go about 120, and then got a couple frames there, change it to 100, and you can make that go back a bit. So that will create the effect of sort of going back a bit, but it still doesn't look quite right. So what you can do is make this frame and this frame. Easy ease, or you can select them and do that. There we go. You can even make this one easy ease if you want. 
easy ease yeah so there we go it's a cool little animation there it looks professional it all looks cool make sure to center your stuff um, unless you're going for that sort of stylistic look okay so that's roughly centered as long as you get it so it looks centered in your eyes it doesn't need to be exact okay so then we need to animate these guys so what you can do is um, have it so it comes down in different ways so this one this is just purely improvised by the way um, let's move the anchor point to um, let's move it to there uh, let's create a new la layer and we'll use this as the mat we'll call it uh, is mat make it any colour you want, it doesn't matter. Alright, I'm going to make it so that is alpha matte or something. Normally just trial and error really. Okay, and then we can make it so everything here, and you'll see what I'm doing in a second, is matted. So, if we, um, we set that as alpha inverted, there we go. So, if we rotate this, it's going to go like that. Actually, that doesn't look very good. So, we've got to adjust it. And you just got to keep on adjusting stuff until it looks about right. And we could... Um, oh, no, I'll do instead. I'll, uh, instead of animating the rotation, we'll move the position so it goes like this. And just adjust the mask a little bit if it doesn't look right, right. So zoom in a little bit, let's grab this mask, then roughly put it there. And then we can animate it so it goes down. It seems a little bit boring, but it creates some cool effects. Make it so it goes like that. A little bit too far, and then get a few frames in the future. There we go. And then you can just make these all easy ease. Okay, so... Let's um, make a slightly longer this gap. So what you want to do when you get these frames that come back, you want to get at least um, like four frames um, for the easies to work okay-ish. Um, you want to get, I recommend getting about six really, but um, with this it's hard to. There you go. And now we've got to animate the call, so what I was thinking is make it a 3d layer this is what i do a lot and it's uh you don't need to use a mat just make it go here okay and then let's change the uh point here yep let's change the Okay, the anchor point. So get the X rotation, which is this one, and just find a point where it just about is invisible. Let's try 89. Let's try 88. Sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, it looks like 88.5 might work. Well, good enough. Um, if you do, if you want to really make it different, though, you can just simply change the opacity. Okay, let's put put this there, and then we want to make it so it goes slightly past, and then go a couple frames. If you sure, one more should do it. And then let's just put this at like one. <laughs> let's put it on zero. Okay might make it look more natural if it's not perfect so you, I don't know okay little things like that make a difference let's make this slightly longer okay that's pretty that's pretty neat that's pretty uh that's all right so good way to make this look even better is to add a bit of motion blur so 
um, you can adjust your motion blur settings in the advanced tab on the com composition settings and the shutter angle is how you adjust them lower is the less higher is the more so let's put this to 180 which is the default there we go okay so let's just do a quick preview there we go that's it and uh, can make stuff look quite cool if it needs to be a bit faster so a little slow you know you can adjust it but um, this is just a short tutorial on how to do stuff like that and you can do it with all things such as shapes um, and just anything really I've even made an intro um, for Yo-Yo Max 12 which uses this frequently in it so go check out our channel uh, link in description for Yo-Yo Max and you can see the intro that I've made you'll have a video up on Friday the 5th or 6th. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe if you want tutorials every now and then. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching.